I'll be back. Hello. Refresh your TV. I'm live right now. <laughs> Come at me sideways. I thought you were streaming. Lady, I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Comments are flowing. Tetsu's in the house. He's on YouTube. What's up, dude? Okay, bye. Oh, my wife's trying this new brand of crazy. <laughs> She's like, you profess your love to me publicly for the eternal tea. And I'm like, uh, okay. She's like, you love it. I'm like, I, I think I confuse this with fear. <laughs> like, big country's in the house. Streets is here. What's up, dude? But for the record, I do love my wife eternally. And I'll blink twice if I'm okay. And I'll blink a lot if I'm scared. <laughs> She's got me captive. In my heart. <laughs> are, the, are the dishes done at least? Dude, dishes are done. I'm doing her laundry right now. Like, we're getting out here. Oh. You could take it straight to the balls. That's what I like. <laughs> straight to the balls. All right, we got room for one more, and then we'll uh, take it on the internet. Big Country, when did you get... Oh, over in Jordy. I love that. Hold on. I need that. Can I? Have, how do I say that? Favorite nephew. Uh, I'm gonna have to have Jordy send me that emote because I want to put that emote on my Twitch. So that way, when you give out a gifted sub to somebody, they can be like big country out here. I think that's dope. Like, it took me months to get my own emotes. I'm a little jealous that you've got your own animated emote. That's literally better than all of mine. <laughs> So, I got a little bit of new A-plus sauce. Um, turns out the R34, I improved it just yeah. a skosh. And uh, with the five speed, it's kind of saucy. Kind of saucy. Nothing crazy. Not cheese like some of the other cars, but it's, it's pretty solid. I'm interested to see what you're, how you're running on this one. I want to see if we hook you up with a little degenerate style on your build here. You, you guys got degenerate for me? Degenerate build on your on the Civic. Oh yeah, what are we doing? Off road suspension with a little more sauce? Not not completely degenerate. <laughs> oh okay. It's something that you completely frown upon. However. <laughs> oh, I don't want to put drift tires on the car, dude. <laughs> like, it, no, no, it's not even that, bro. <laughs> what are we doing? Talk to me. Talk to me, Goose. It gives you the speeds. More speeds? Are we using gold tires? <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> no, no, dude. Gold tires and you can fucking get 100%. Oh, 100% grip? Yeah. I'm not doing it. Okay, bro. Be a bitch. Yeah, I will continue to be a bitch. <laughs> like, uh... All right, yeah, let's let's run a couple of these. Let's uh, see what's up. Okay. I'm about to show you guys what's good. Are you though? Maybe. I'm gonna try really hard. All right, I'm sending it. I think my best is a. 52? Someone left. Oh, uh, that was Rexon. Right mm -hmm. You don't want to play with a...
You were listening. To, you were just listening to this. That's crazy. It's a. It's like a three-hour mix I found on YouTube. Instead of playing my normal Spotify playlist, I figured if I got something that was maybe a DJ mix, I might not get slapped with copyright protection. We'll see. Ooh. Link Lincoln Park got a new new album. It's crazy. Oh, it's just greatest hits. Okay, so it's not like a there's no new songs that I'm missing out on. It's just a re-release of the stuff so the band members can make a bunch of money while Chester is uh, not involved anymore. And nothing like negative about the situation. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing any new jams and new bops. Okay, you car. You oh, cunt. I got hosed. <laughs> I'm trying not to touch you. It just went bad. Suffles win. Ooh, oh, oh. I died. This car is so good. It's my favorite car. I'm so happy we're driving it. <sighs> Artisma, what's up, baby? Yeah, me and Cat, we're running some copium. Let me show you this this saucy thing I got cooked up in here. It's pretty cool. It's a little better than the last one I had on the channel. It's pretty good. I was uh, working with a guy. If any of you out there. Want some one-on-one -on -one coaching on how to play Need for Speed? Get with me. It's a thing that I'm doing now. <laughs> but it was really cool. Uh, guy's really, really friendly, and he was just asking for some help, and so we got together, and I spent a little over an hour with him. We got stuff going. But yeah, look at this thing. It's pretty saucy. Pretty saucy. Got a little more horsepower, a little more torque than the last one. It's nothing crazy, It's but it, it's a decent little A-plus car. Is that another 52 you hit there, uh, Suffolk? 53. Uh, we get that streamer fucked did not hit us when we're trying to race this thing. Uh, shout out to Surfy for this rap. I like the Copium rap on the, the Civic. It looks pretty good. Dragontron is here. JCS is in the house. I miss anybody else? Nope. Mm. Yeah, there's usually about a 7 to 10 second delay. We're, we're prime time right now for YouTube. Friday night, Saturday night. Lots and lots of uh, bandwidth getting used on YouTube. So we got to fight that. Uh, Jamin, the night the night is still young, but it's been good. It's been good. Um, I feel like you just missed supples. How did you not miss that? Uh, I don't know. On my screen, it was omega close. Tetsu, you're my way. I got the pace. I got the pace. I got the pace. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh, nice line there, Tetsu. We're dead. We're dead. Damn it. Runs cooked. What did he just die on? 
I have no idea. Like, he just did a barrel roll. Like, I don't even know what car was there for him to do that. Oh my god! I thought we were murdered. I really did. I tried something new. No more new things. No more new moves. Who <laughs> dare? Who dare? That's Dragon Tron. Tron of the Dragon. Hello, there, the lads. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, R34 build your favorite car? I got you back. I got your back, fam. We'll figure it out. For the low monthly subscription cost of forty nine ninety nine and one pink blob story, you too can have the R34 Skyline. What? Who is this nerd in the not copium car? Dust him, boys. Some nerd that doesn't know about copium. Let's go, let's go. We're on one right now. I don't know why I did that. Why? F this car, man. Delays over a minute? Multiple minutes? Are you live on the stream? Like, maybe your stream's backed up a little ways. There's no, it, it's never been that long. Yeah, it's not that bad for me on my end. Yeah, well, just refresh your stream, bro. Good line there, Propagate. <laughs> that was a way better line. Please let me have this wiggle. Yo, it did. All right, so we gotta do some light tron action. What you gotta do is hit the brakes with this thing in a tron. Yeah, no, I know, but I keep trying to like strategically grip turn. No, not seventy-five percent grip, bro. All right, yeah, it would have been a high fifty-two. Tetsu, let's go, dude.
saw a video today on that Honda uh, CRZ. It's kind of like styled similar, like a futuristic looking uh, CRX, but it kind of had like this little shitty, not very good motor in it. But these guys K24 swapped it. And I was like, dude, that looks amazing. I kind of love that in my life. K12? Hey, 24 is twice as good. <laughs> oh. That's an hour video? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you did it. You did it. Alright Ted, so I have no idea what our pace is, but I'm feeling pretty good about this one, dude. Probably about 25% off. I'm so tempted to put road tires on this just to see if it micro drifts better. We're kind of on when Tetsu's about to do like a 48. Yeah, I think he just did a 50. Yeah, 51. Okay. He was good. He was fast. That was fast. Oh, uh, Eerie. Eeriger? Eeriger? You're welcome. I hope you're learning from it. I'm working on, uh,. Another video that will hopefully be on the more educational side, like tips and tricks on how to drive. So, hopefully, you'll uh, get something out of that. Uh, I'm with you, Tetsu. I do also kind of hate this car. <laughs> but this one is saucy. What am I doing? I'm racing all alone. <laughs> Uh, Jur and Ur, Eerie. So is it Eerie Jur or... Oh, so it's just Jur. So it would be more like Eerie Irish instead of Billy Irish. Eilish. Gallium, uh, you, you know how it go. You know how it go, bro. Um... When there's 15, I will do everything I can to remember to tell you. And then just join the party and we'll try to get you in here. Birdfella, hello, hello, hope you're doing well. Ere, Efra, Ere, Ere, Skirre, Skirre. Give me an hour and I still won't have it right. Like, I learned on hooked. I learned with hooked on phonics, but in Kansas, and so you know, like we used terms like y'all and uins. <laughs> uins is y'all plus three. You guys do the math on that. And let me know what you come up with. <laughs> I think it's five. It's about right, but it really would only get utilized in terms of endearment and trouble. So like, 
You wins need to get in the house right now. You knew you was you was fucked. <laughs> I thought we were moving much faster than that on the supples. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Oh, Euro? Uh, yeah, we're working. I'm working on it, man. It, see, that's the thing. Like, if I do a build video, I can just do most of it in one take. I know what I'm presenting. It's easy. But when I do a tips and tricks video, I'll end up shooting the same, like, scene or the same cut five, six, seven times and then watch all of them back. And I'm not happy with any of it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh shit. Holy shit. We got <laughs> some Hondas out here. Uh, Stanley, if that's something you're into, bro, owning all the crew games on uh, Steam. I do know some people that are all about that Steam library, though. Like, you know, you go to somebody's house, they got, like, bookshelves. And this dude's bringing chicks over. He's like, check out my anime over there. Girl, let me show you my Steam library. What's good? I got the friends and family thing. If you want to play a game, I got that game. <laughs> like <laughs> For real, like, I used to be like... Where does your money go? Like, you've got a decent job, but you're always claiming, like, you gotta wait till payday for something. I was like, you go out, you drink, you get a little saucy with it, I know it. But, like, nah, man, you don't got any babies. You, I know what your rent is, because I know who you're living with. Like, there's no way. And you don't do enough drugs to justify the expense. So, like, what is it? And then I saw dude's Steam library, and I'm like, okay, you have 4,000 games. What do you do? You, you don't even game that much. <laughs> like... I think homie just shops. <laughs> like, at this point, I'm just trying to catch up. I've had a real bad start. Tetsu got hit with that hard right after that fucking that sweeper. Uh, you don't own any of the crew games? <laughs> I mean... Kinda. You're on a good one? Unlucky, Tetsu. He was. Yeah. <laughs> Link, like that's that's the way you look at it, right? Like You know, if somebody's got a drug problem, they're all you know, they're always getting their fix, they're high all the time, whatever, you know, they're they're out here. You can it's a problem. If you're like this guy does recreational things maybe a couple times a month, nah dog, like where's your money? <laughs> Steam. Supples, got it. Like, <laughs> like I was like, dude, do you have a Steam Deck? I bet you a lot of your library would run. He goes, ah, oh, nah, dog, I wouldn't have any time to play on it. I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> like, uh. I've bought a handful of games on Steam that I played like a little while, but some of them not really long. I think the one thing I don't understand the collection of is the Funko Pops. Like, if you have, like, one that's, like, a character that you really like, like, you're super into DBZ, right? So you get, like, a bunch of the DBZ ones. Okay. Makes sense to me. But people that just collect all those for the sake of collecting them, I'm like, you've got a wall full of boxes of, like, not even action figures. And they're like, oh no, those will be worth something someday. I'm like, you need to check out on the teeny beanie babies people. Like, I ask them how that collection's going for them. 
And if I, if you feel personally attacked by my statement, I mean no shame. I just don't understand. Man, I was like, dude, I'm feeling it right now. Like, this is a good one. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> had plenty it's... of those. <laughs> Yo, it's funny, like huh? 53 pace. Then I run this. <laughs> <laughs> but it felt so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, dude! I just parked in a fucking coffee shop. I ruined it. <laughs> You already, already sent it? Okay. Catch you on the next one, boom. When real car? Um... It's coming up. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do it yet, but we are absolutely, and I mean sooner than later, gonna be doing Pagan Team Pagani versus Team Austin Martin. Like, that's going to be an actual thing. Because it's a really good matchup. Team Vulcan all the way. Yeah. I knew that that would draw some lines in the sand for people. They'd be like, nah, team this, team this. And it's just going to be like, all right, you know what? I love it. Let's go. <laughs> Holy now, people. One YouTube oh, rabbit the... hole I've been getting sucked oh. into. Have you guys, like, ever watched the videos or looked into this RC remote control drift cars? Like, where they go and they set up little courses and stuff at, like, shops. And it's like, they try to make, like, you know, one-tenth scale models and they look almost real and they got lights and shit and they're super, super cool. If you've not seen the videos on the YouTube of such things... It's kind of tight. Alright, Dragon Tron, watch out. This is gonna be one of those. Oh, yeah, you told him to watch out, and he's like, Oh, hey, man, let me show you this little baby love kiss right here. Little love tappy tap. Bart's like, <laughs> That's not grip very well. But I love driving this thing, though. How we doing this, Subly um, Boy? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna back off and go into it slow. Don't hold it. Tetsu, Tetsu, what were you on, man, on that one? I'm on. Tell me real late what he said. Hi, buddy. Hey, man. This ain't the way, dude! <laughs> <laughs> that worked out. Oh, it's a 1v1 fight up here. That was a nice fight up there. <laughs> Part that stinks when everybody's running around the same time and then just search for the best one. I didn't get my three bar. I did. Now I'm back. <laughs> Holy crap, that was the first time I've ever had a real line through that corner. I think that might have been a PB? 5268? I need to go look. Does anybody know my PB? Any of my mods know how I, fast I am? I know it's a 52. I don't know what exactly. Yeah. I gotta scroll for like 10 years. <clears throat> 5234 by the looks of things. Okay, okay, okay. We got room. We got room. Philippe Oliveira. What's up, buddy? What's up? Chompy Churros in the house. What's up, man? 
You got me by five hundredths of a second right now. Mellow Gamers here. Book my flight today for the Isle of Man. Dude. Dude. Are you... You're just going to watch, right? You're not, like... You going, you going to qualify? You, you going to participate? Because that's awesome. If you are... Participating. In any capacity. Even the fucking corner marshals are legends. It's usually people live there, though. Like... I'm envious in a capacity that I cannot really communicate with words. It's super cool. Super fucking cool. Just to watch. No, 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 no fuck that. Just, just watch. Alright, alright, cool. I, I mean, I'm still envious. That's still super, super cool. But like, obviously you understand there's contrast there. It's like, are you going to die or are you going to watch? <laughs> like, uh, man, Stam, NFS. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Pole Lark is in the house. <laughs> Jeshima. Hello. This one's gonna get spicy. If, if I get a solid, like, if I get a 50, I'm, like, done, done. I don't need to participate anymore. If I get a 51, I'm cool. I'll be happy. Ernie's in the house. What's up, guys? Dude, guys, shout out to Ernie. He sent a bunch of cologne to my house today. <laughs> I'm sure you stank ass. <laughs> it hits a little different when you say it like that. <laughs> no, no, no. So, like, homie sent me some tea, but my address was still linked to that account on stuff. And so he ordered himself some cologne and it showed up at my house. Dude's calling me. He's like, yo, uh... Go check your mailbox, dude. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> and he's a real one, too. He's like, you know, you can try them out. See what you see what you think, man. Like, that's all cool. Just, like, send me the rest of it. And then I went to the post office. And I don't know if you guys have mailed anything from the post office re recently. But they make you cool. fill out, like, a thing on this little the touchpad. It's like, are you sending lithium-ion batteries, piece. hazardous materials, anything fragile or perfect? Ah, dang it. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm sending cologne. And they, uh, they kind of throw a fit when you do that at the post office. They're like, oh, you're, this is hazardous material. It's like, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. It's fine. And they're like, no, no, it could break. It could do this. It's alcohol-based, which is flammable, so we can't fly it. I was like, listen, this literally got delivered by you guys today, and it didn't have any of those stickers on it. Like, we're going to be okay. And they're like, no, no, we have to ship it this way. And the lady, she's like the supervisor, she was like kind of losing it on me. She was telling me I couldn't send it. I was like, well, I've got like an ounce and a half of cologne in there. I'm lying, but I don't care. Like, whatever. We're going to figure this out. It was something that could have been very simple turned into a very unique trip to the post office. And now I feel like if I go ship anything that's coordinate crew related, I got to go to a different post office. <laughs> God damn it. That's how I feel, nerd. Where are you, stupid sick? Oh, we're way off. Miss NFS is in the house. Uh oh, shit. Fuck it. Let's see. No it way, is. Ernie. What came to my house was like this little package. It was like this big. And there's no way the little bottle inside of that, unless it was like <laughs> some kind of aphrodisiac or something like it. I'll, I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it. I'm gonna Google it. But no, 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 no. Ain't no way. If you got a thousand dollars wrapped up in that little package, you should have said so before I shipped it back. Oh, fuck. You're not joking. They didn't protect that very well. If I had known that, I probably would have repacked it before I sent out. You were like, yeah, I mean, it's like this club, and I get the samples, and I try the stuff. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Gangster, this is crazy. What does this do? Does it make your... It has to make your dick bigger. Like, there's no way it's this much money without doing that. Like, there's gotta be... Uh. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, ni nice civic indeed. Oh. How many are on server? All of us. I didn't know if there was just 16 or there's done 15 or whatnot. Oh, no, no, we're definitely 16, but when the 15 happens, we'll get it there. What are we happening? What is, what are we listening to? What, what advertisement is this? You think I'm pretty All right, cool. What I miss? Nicky B1. What's up, dude? You miss Dragon Tron taking up the entire fucking road! <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm trying to get some boost, boost to build up over here. <laughs> I'm trying to build some boost, dude. Wide line is boost line. You know what I'm saying, dude? <laughs> ah. Ernie, $1,000 for some cologne, bro. That's crazy, homie. We'll see if I hold on to it. If Wax Speed doesn't have a Civic, he's banned. Okay, he's good. I wish we had another Pagani in the game. I kind of do too. But like, it's all right. Ernie's big pimping out there in California. He owns every hoe on the block. And then his wife, she runs all the men. <laughs> they they run that shit. Dragon time, touch my butt. <laughs> oh, it's not the cool boy over here. Yee ho. <laughs> Yee ho. All right. All right, put it in the notebook. Murder next time. All right. <laughs> Worth it. I fucked up my three bar, bro. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to take. I'm, but this thing doesn't try to very well. I'm trying to take the blind I was take, but no, we have to be enough. Okay, dude. Oh, real nice. <laughs> Zonda Sinek Roadster? I'm not familiar with that one. I like the Chinkwe Buster. Yeah. Nice being set a beat 12. Mm. It's because you're only running 70% freaking grip on that. That's why you're struggling. <laughs> Ernie, we could have had the lore going. Programmer. I mean, uh, yes, yeah, but like. <laughs> Go shoot for that 100% grip. I'm telling you. It'll make it. <laughs> Jesus. So much He's drive. a programmer for Jesus. As Supples, he was skeptical at first. <laughs> the Alex Lord was better. Oh, this one's a slapper, dude. Alright, yeah, we're gonna crank this shit up. I've seen friends so damn frosty that people like, damn, that's a cold ass honky. Rolling in hella deep, headed to the mezzanine, dressed in all pinks in my gator shoes, those are green. Smells like the killer sheets. The shit was not We've got some civics going here, boys! Let's go! Over time. Blow them over. Oh, hold your line. Hold my line, motherfucker. You hit me out of my line. Bro, I didn't, oh, nice. No. Good line there, dudes. All right. All right. Put a notebook right there. All right. All right. That's my next spectator on the list right there. You hit me first. I didn't hit you on my screen, fam. What the hell? What you about? I didn't hit you on my screen, fam. <laughs> How's that DC going up? Then you're letting the streamer guy up there win and shit. <laughs> Bro, it's not like I'm doing anything constructive or fast. Well, you do drive the short bus. 
It's a short plane, okay, dude. We flying out here. I'm calling the crew the short bus, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Close. Ernie, you're the reason that I can't get shit from Forever Young on time. Every time that man sends me something, it gets hung up in like Colorado. Every time. Like I sent something to Washington on Monday, it got there Wednesday, it got turned around and shipped back to me Wednesday, I'll have it tomorrow. Forever Young wants to send me something, sticker, postage, whatever cool I don't see it for like two weeks <laughs> yes I wear 1k cologne I smell incredible <laughs> oh no we were jamming out to uh, thrift shop so that he was it's got to be a reference to this song hey right. <laughs> all those hoes in my second house down the road here we go <laughs> Yeah, like two thirds of 60% of the time, it happens and works every time. <laughs> it's flawless. <laughs> Internationally wanted to try it. Yeah, it's wild. I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, Savage, you know, I'm with you. Like, I sent. A package of hoodies and shirts to German for Lex and Lex had his shit before forever young in California had his shit <laughs> and I was like how how <laughs> Eerie's out here like <laughs> acting like he's singing the song like I wear a thousand dollar clone I smell incredible <laughs> Ernie's like oh what do you wear that sounds wonderful let me know <laughs> we'll compare sense <laughs> okay so wax speed sorry you're dead <laughs> so Tetsu just did a fucking 180 Tron turn oh oh okay 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 I, I can handle that I thought you were about to reference some kind of crazy number that was very fast like <laughs> 118 or something I'm like he cheated. <laughs> oh, I'm all face so good. <laughs> DHLX customers cares about the customer experience? Alright. Probably. Wanna go that way? Get your ass over here. <laughs> it was desync. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my oh, it was sir, a you, I need to get my payback on you. you Cutie old. pie Peggy in the house. I love that. What <laughs> There. Blink uh, twice if she's crazy and I have to say it on stream, otherwise go. she'll beat me. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we were off pace anyway. <laughs> it didn't fucking matter at that point. Oh yeah, let's do eight and one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's oh, do it with, with 46 <laughs> of us, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm about it. A little bit. <laughs> Tetsu's like, yeah, fuck that. I'm out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, that's me, bro. That's me. Supples even went out, that little bitch. <laughs> what chicken? Yeah, the three what of us chicken? are in the next lobby. We're cool. <laughs> like... <laughs> you're with that dirty racer dragon trying again. Yeah. Oh, bro, come on. <laughs> Would I take the bike around the Isle of Man? Yes. Would I try to do a qualifying lap around the Qual Isle of Man? No. I looked into it. I like logistics, taking a motorcycle there, what kind of time you actually have to hit to make it into the following days to continue to progress and actually participate. And uh, that that's a no nonsense kind of thing. You you kind of need to show up and just be fast. And it's not like you get to go practice cuz I was like, okay, I'll go out and I'll just like practice and shit. Like just to go and be able to run the circuit. And then, even if I don't make it through qualifying, I got to go practice, right? It ain't like that. 
you got to have a race license and you have to show up. You got to kind of already be somebody and have some cred before you can just turn up and try to do it. I'm like, man, I'm not going to be able to get that off. Because I kind of, you know, I, I was like, I'll just bullshit my way into it. It'll be cool. Like, I won't actually participate, but just be hanging out with the racers, do a little qualifying, have my bike in the pits, you know, wearing leathers on race day. The people there think I'm a local hero. I'm a no name. It doesn't matter. You know, it'd be really cool. Nah, dog. Like, you can't fake it. You got you to gotta be somebody. And I'm like, mm. Cleared that car out for you, Dragon John. Nice. I don't know, at least a second, so let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fuck this car! <laughs> well, Pullark, that's actually how I got the first blob figurine. I, that's so my plan was I had already had set up a car to participate in F3 which is kind of like F1 but it's a lot slower and so I knew a guy that knew a guy that was sleeping with some young lady that her dad owned a company that was making the chassis for the F3 cars so long story short we kind of had this mock-up and I was like alright if I show up and I act like I'm an F3 and I want to just go through the qualifying motions that'd be really cool and so I was going through and talking to people and I was sending emails and sending pictures of the car and like we're kind of a startup team from the United States, Corn Nut Racing Crew, maybe you've heard of us, we're famous, not a big deal. Don't look at YouTube though, it's, it's, don't get, don't get caught up in the chat. We're real. And so anyway, we were going through that and through the translation back and forth, one of the race officials called me on my sidekick so I flipped it out and I was talking to him on that. Um, I, and that's Little Wayne edition. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those, but anyway, so I'm talking with the race official, he's like, "Listen, there's no way we can get you guys in here." And I was like, "What if I sauce it up a little bit?" He goes, "Man, the last guy that tried to sauce me sent me a code I can't do anything with for a video game that I thought my daughter wanted to play, but as it turns out, she was playing some other bullshit game." And I was like, "Now hold on, what game?" And he goes through to tell me he doesn't know. He's got this code, and I was like, "Well, what if I can get it to work for you?" And he's like, all right, why, dude? <laughs> Jesus. Like, well, if you get it to work well. for me, we'll get you in the race. And I was like, all right, that sounds cool. Send it to me, we'll get it going. As it turns out, it was totally a Trojan virus. Nothing was going to work. And ever since I tried to get this going so I could participate in an F3 race, I've had a pink blob character in Need for Speed, and it's just broken. So... Long story short, don't try to bullshit your way into anything that is F1 related because not only will they install viruses on your computer acting like they're your friend, uh, you'll get stuck with this character. So, now you know. You know exactly why I did that. Aw, <laughs> uh, oh, what? No reason? Aw, oh, okay. Thank you, game. I have an FU car you can drive. <laughs> Linksy, I, I, I honestly can't tell how much bullshit I was just fed. <laughs> you have a dump truck. <laughs> oh. All right, they'll be fifteen on server. <laughs> Count it down for those. Of us that I think Looney's trying to get in. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming out. Right now, Looney? Really? Yeah. Should be 15 now. Alright, you guys have a good night. Even you, Alex. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> You're a real when you are, dude. <laughs> Even after the pink blob story. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good stream. Later, buddy. See ya. <laughs> I just did. Oh. <laughs> That's how I'll start raising money. Because there's people of you that want to see the pink blob story. And I'll be like, alright. If you want to hear a pink blob story, $2 dono.
And then somebody else will be like, I'll pay $2 to not hear it. I'll be like, all right, so we're up to $3 to not hear it. And we'll just bid it up until somebody wins. Sounds pretty good. To me, anyway. Let me know. So, and... <laughs> In a totally separate side of things. And this this is all true, okay? Like, no cap. I'm not bullshitting you. This is how it went. Um, Hallett Motor Racing Circuit down in um, Jennings, Oklahoma. It's my home track. It's where I like to go. It's like two and a half hours away. It's great. Um, Dunlop was hosting the Dunlop Invite. It was like this Dunlop race event that they had created. It was a one-of thing. And you had to run spec tire. No, I'm, I'm JCS. Like I'm, I'm no cap. This is all true. And so I wanted to participate because um, I was pretty. I'm pretty fast. Uh, like I go and I, I race. When I go and do lapping days, I'm in race group. But I've never raced at this point. I've only done lapping days and track days. But I go with the fast guys because I'm pretty fast. And so I go and I like register for this thing. Don't get in. Because on the little form you got to fill out, it's like, okay, what organization is your race license sanctioned through? And I'm like, race license? <laughs> what do you mean, race license? And so I, I didn't have a race license. Oh, god damn it. Okay, you dudes. <laughs> um, so I, I filled out the form, didn't get accepted. And it's like three months before the race. So things are coming up. It was like... A month and a half before the race and I was like I'm gonna re-register and then under the race sanction I just picked some race organization out in California checked the box and said I had a race license and I was like cool I got accepted and I was like huh so anyway now I'm registered for this Dunlop invite uh, race and as it turns out when they had originally started doing this, uh, and I find all this out afterwards, after I'm there and the promoters had already done it, Dunlop was trying to create this new series that they were gonna be doing all over the country and promote their tires and just give out prize money and all this stuff. They were literally just inviting, that's why it was called the invite, uh, people that were like race championship winners and people that had won all at that track in different classes and stuff. So they were really stacking the card and the deck with people that were really good. Well, they had a really, really low registration and participation level. And so they didn't have enough people. And so when I registered the second time, they were kind of accepting just anybody and not doing a whole lot of like research. And so I show up and it's like the night before we go out and have practice for the first time. I've never raced in my life. I've never set up my bike for race events. I've never had to pass tech inspection. I'm nervous as hell. Um, when you go to these events, you typically, like, there's big carports, right? Like, you can put your race car on one side, and there's a picnic table, and you park your RV next to that. And it's kind of like how we... Listen, Dragontron! You gotta give us not enough space. We can't cut. Yeah, the corner, you messed up my <laughs> So, um, it turns out, like, a lot of the bike teams... They'll, they'll stack six, seven, eight bikes in one side of the garage because you rent half of it. And they, they're all friends and stuff. And so everybody is sharing a garage. Everybody's got their garages shared. I know the track organizers, so as soon as I got in, I called them like, hey, do you have anything left? They're like, you know, we didn't, but one of the guys just canceled. You can have his garage. He's in bay one. So I've got like the best garage. It's like closest to everything. I roll up, and I was kind of later in the day, a lot of the other teams and racers had showed up. And I'm alone. I'm towing this big camper that I borrowed from some friends so I could go do this event and actually have a camper to stay in and not stay in a hotel. And I'm backing it in and I'm wheeling my bike out. And my bike is a 2006. It's clapped out. Like, it's not modern, new, fast. But I'm fast on it. And every, like, every other bay, all the way down the line, there's 25 of these garages. <laughs> it's got, like, four to six bikes in it lots of guys and it's just me <laughs> with my bike 
not a toolkit, no nothing. Like just kind of unload my bike, roll it in there, put it on the stamps, throw the warmers on it. I was like, what's up guys? And everybody's, you know, they're like, oh, I've never seen you before. How are you doing? So I shake hands and stuff. And after I got kind of comfortable with the guys in the garage, I was like, um, guys, I've never raced before. I've never had to tech my bike. I don't even think I have it set up in race wire. And one of the guys is like, no shit. That's fucking awesome. And the other guy's like, dude, we got to help this guy. And so there's like four guys that came over. They're all helping me set up my bike. And we became just instant friends. And they couldn't believe that I had never raced. They're like, how did you get in? And I'm kind of telling them, I'm like, kind of just bullshit. Like, I don't even have a license. They're like, dude, just stay out of people's way, please. I'm like, all right, cool. I didn't get last. I passed a bunch of people. Like, I was going fast that weekend. I did okay. But it was like, just bullshitting my way and lying on my registration to get into this event. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> it all worked out. I ended up like kind of doing mid-pack in my group. Which, don't get me wrong, it's not great. But I was very proud of myself. <laughs> I cannot run with you slow nerds. No, no, no. I didn't wreck anybody. I wasn't even dangerous on track. See, that's the thing. Like, I had done so many fast lapping days and I've raced in other events rather it be in iRacing or anything like my racecraft is pretty good I just never really had like done it and so we kind of just sent it turned out pretty well and then I started racing after that like once I got my feet wet and like actually kind of fig figured out what it was involved I just got the bug and started doing it it's a lot of fun what's up bodacious Meet Asana, a work management <laughs> Yeah, our team's well, exactly. Job description, five years experience and a race license. It's like, I, I've been to a track before. Asana, a smarter way to work. Try it for Oh, yeah. I met up with all those guys, had a lot of fun. Um, I learned a ton that weekend. Like, we're talking with everybody. I'm learning how to do stuff. And uh, one of the guys, he's, he's a racer. But he didn't get invited to the event, and he didn't get accepted, and he's fast. He was there doing pit and suspension for this other guy that was, like, winning in points for the championship in the CMRA that year. And so he's there running, like, setting the guy's tire pressures, changing out fluids, just, like, basically maintaining the bike the entire weekend, making sure it's got the right amount of fuel to do the laps. Uh, well, so the racer guy doesn't have to worry about it. He can just focus. So I'm talking with him. And he's like, are you getting tired on track? I'm like, yeah, I'm getting a little fatigued. Like, these races are longer than what I'm used to because we usually go out for 20 minutes and this is turning into, like, 28. And I'm kind of I'm pushing the whole time, so it's really getting into me. He's like, well, where are you breathing at? I'm like, what? Breathing? Just, just air, you know, whenever I feel like I need it. He goes, no, 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 like, at what straightaways on the track are you literally taking in, you know, your deep breaths and focusing on that so that way you're pumping your lungs up and I'm like dude I have no idea what you're communicating but like I understand the words but I don't know what you're saying he's like dude you don't have breathing zones I'm like dude I barely have breaking zones <laughs> I just kind of send it out there he's like okay so pick three straightaways because there's a bunch on the track pick three and while you're on that straightaway your one job is to breathe deeply like just like hyperventilate two or three times and then whatever happens in the corners happens in the corners but at least you've got some oxygen in your system so you can make that stuff go and I'm like okay turns out that I was holding my breath in the corners so I could focus and it's like a kind of a thing that people do it's not like I don't want to say it's normal but it's like more common than I really thought I guess because uh, you just start getting focused and you kind of just hold your breath and you're not working your lungs when you're hanging off the bike and so to counteract that you breathe really deeply in the places where you're not turning super sharp so that way you have oxygen in your brain when you are turning and I'm like hmm, that's pretty tight <laughs> no 
nope, second channel's not up yet. I don't have nearly any of the... Vi I've got one video done. Because uh, after I got that video done, I took the bike apart and I sent my ECU to Washington to get done. It should be back tomorrow. Uh, once it's back tomorrow, I'll probably make a video this weekend. And then I'll have my second video done. And then I've got like two or three others I want to have done and completed, like edited, videos ready. Second channel I'll create. I'll upload all of those videos. I'll make announcements. I'll kind of hype it up in the Discord and get all of you guys to be a part of that. Because as a group, if I have if I have a no-name channel, like there's nothing there, and then within 24 hours of it going live, I have all of you guys watching, a lot of the homies from the Discord, people that support the channel just by watching on YouTube, go there and they watch the videos and they like the video and get a few subscribers off it, it will have kind of some artificial momentum. Um, but it'll be by people that watch my other channel, so it's like, it won't be... It's not like I'm paying for clicks or ads. It's kind of like, it'll be real, but it'll be generating a little more hype than it would if I didn't do that. And so then the YouTube algorithm will push it to more people and it'll kind of jumpstart the channel, I think. So I'll let you guys know when that's happening. Like. But it should be pretty fun. It should be educational, cool stuff. If you like motorcycles, it'll be great. But there's going to be other stuff I'm doing on the channel that are not just motorcycle related content. So if you're uh, into anything, like we, we get kind of rowdy on some stand up jet skis and do some shit with some people. We got some friends. And, Unfortunate uh, Tetsu. Yeah. Okay. Rip. Rip me too. Buddy. Yo, what the fuck? Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> uh, Ernie, it's not the price of the license that gets you. It's the cost of doing. The license itself is cheap uh, for motorcycle racing, especially at the club level where I'm at. But you have to go and you have to do two race weekends uh, as a provisional novice within six months of each other. You then have to not crash either weekend. You can't cause any incidents that are deemed unsafe. You have to accumulate two working days of being part of the club and like do, doing corner work, um, putting stuff away. Like you gotta learn kind of every aspect of what goes on as a racer. Like, even what the guys with the flags on the corners are doing that are watching out for those that crash. Learning how the medical staff does stuff. Like, you end up learning everything over the course of two separate weekends. And for me, one of the weekends is easy. Because it's two hours away. It's my track. I'm safe there. It's no problem. That second weekend is, like, Houston, which is 11 hours away. Or there's one track in Dallas, which that's six. But the overall setup for that is uh, fairly more involved. So I've done a bunch of club racing, but it's always been at the provisional novice level. And I've always been like one race, and then the next one that I do is outside of the six months, or it's at the same track and it doesn't count towards the accumulation. So I've done a lot of racing. But I've never got my official race license. But I'm friends with a lot of guys in the club, so it's like, I just show up, I'm part of the provisional novice crew, race with the experts anyway, because I qualify fast enough, and just just send it. <laughs> but the that second race weekend is a lot harder for me to do, because practice for that track is on Friday. So to drive down there, because practice is Friday morning, you need to be there Thursday. So it's like, take off work Thursday, race Friday, or practice Friday, race Saturday, race Sunday. Now I'm done racing, it's 3, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. I am six hours from home and I am beat. I'm super tired. So it's like, going home Sunday doesn't really make a lot of sense for me because I'm usually the one driving anyway. Um, so it's kind of like I need to take Thursday, Friday, and Monday off to make it work. And it's financially 
it's not the cost of doing racing, it's the cost of not going to work those days. It has been in the past, we'll see. I don't think I'll probably race this year, because I am not probably going to go race the $30,000 motorcycle. Because insurance will pay for a lot of stuff, they won't pay for it if I crash it in a timed event. But maybe next year I'll get a race bike and we'll do that. Because it's something I want to do, I want to get back into it, this time. We'll see how the second channel does, because I think the second channel can kind of push that a little bit. I can't believe we didn't die. That was amazing. Just send it, man. We're just sending it, bro. That's what we're doing. Country, how you doing, brother? Doing good, man. Doing good. Just trying to find some way to run this car. Which car you got? The Copium car. Oh, dude, are you trying to run Copium? Because I can back out. I'll run with you. No, you good. Just played around. You back on days yet, country? Yes, sir. I am. Bet you that feels good. <laughs> or if it's recent, you're probably yeah. dead ass tired. No, I actually pretty good. I had the weekend off, and then I got this weekend off. That's tight. I'm glad to hear that, man. You're busting your ass, bro. I'm trying to, man. I'm trying to. Oh yeah, dude, Tetsu, yeah, absolutely. Let's spam it up, bro. We're trying to get homies in here, let's go. First track is. Oh, me too. Nice. You're in a good car. Yeah, but I chose to screw by accident. Oh, no, I was talking to Supples. If you're in a Rosa, you're in a fine car. Like, I'm driving the R34 because I just built it tonight, and I was like, it's got a little, it's got a little bit of speed. Holy oh, shit. Oh, okay, dude. Good driving there, nerds. I was fine. Somebody's like, this van is mine. <laughs> I don't know who's in the speed hole, but I'm about to give it to him. Give it to him, dude. What? Yo! Only the real Sick. ones know. Oh, we got 15. Fifteen. Damn it, dude. Oh, boy. Oh. Death. What's up, Luna? Yeah. 
What's up? I caught uh, that 14. car. <laughs> I caught that car you hit. Yeah. It went poorly. Okay, DNF. Mm. That wasn't a near miss. Mm. I was looking at who left. <laughs> See, the bridge wasn't even all the way up. I'm underneath now. What the fuck? Hmm. I thought they fixed it. <laughs> uh, we're trying to get me and Cat and Rex on in, so. I also thought they had fixed that after the numerous copium runs on this track, but apparently not. Maybe not in all playlists. I don't know, dude. Dude, I'm convinced that Wooper is laying down with his butt to the door, farting under the crack on purpose. <laughs> is this a speed list we're doing? A speed race? Is it a speed race? I don't no. know. It isn't. I think it's major it's luck. Yet. I, I choose a turbo. I don't trust this track. Dude. Great fire. All if I open races. this door and that dog oh, is right there, well, that's it. About to put on a clinic on how to make a coat, a fur coat. <laughs> Whooper, you better hope you're not. I know you are, though. I can. For those of you guys that are fans of the Jordy George team, the Slow Boys. Um, I spent a couple hours with him today, and we got his PC all sorted, and I think he ordered the parts. So, he should be, uh, becoming one of the PC homies here soon, which is gonna be way cool. We got him a really nice ring. Oh, it's gonna, it's dirty. gonna be sweet. I'm very excited for him. God damn it! Stop following you, ho! Oh, okay, you're a, you're a hobo as well. You're a hoe as well. <laughs> Say it to me slow, baby. <laughs> hey, is this guy Guan Pan Z guy on the Beetle? Is he good people? Is he racing real? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. All right. As far as I'm concerned, he's a real one because he's out here in a Beetle, dude, in A plus. He's not a meta slave. Good guy, in my book. What? He just got glitched on something. Oh, he left. Yeah, he like glitched on the railing yeah. and it did a 180. Oof. Oh, I just tron straight into that wall. I had panic slow down there. Traffic cars! There's always part traffic cars in the way. Lovely. Lovely. Yo! <laughs> I was far enough ahead, I was trying some new lines. That ain't them. Bro, you gotta be fucking kidding me with this. Uh, AP2, nice. Along the lines of leather boots. That'd be kind of dope, get some whooper gloves for motorcycle riding. Because they always do kangaroo or deer skin because it's nice and soft and malleable. Um, cowhide, a little too thick. But some whooper leather. We put him to use. <laughs> These are not the lines you're looking for. <laughs> True. 
All right, this is the zoom zoom, right? Straight fire? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See you on the streets, homie. All right. The game first or last? Uh, I get second. <laughs> That's a count. <laughs> Uh, JCS, dude, I know you're a uh, you're a mod over there for Buster, right? Putting in the work. <clears throat> Whooper keychain? No, 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 no. I don't I don't keychain. Never really understood the purpose. My daughter and my wife, they got keychains. Like my wife especially, dude. She she's got more keychain and rings and shit that is accessories to those types of things than she has keys. Uh, Dragontron, I feel like you don't got the right build, homie. Yeah, I got the sentry build, mate. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Is the easy way or the hard way? What's it gonna be? Oh, the hard way then, bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh my God, Supples! I hit him right off the bridge. <laughs> All right, put right, the books. Right. That's my next target now. I remember that, dude. <laughs> oh my God, that could not have gone better. Uh, I swear, this ain't scripted, I swear to god. <laughs> oh. No, Luna. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my god. You gotta clip that and just sit <laughs> Dude, yeah, somebody, I hope you got a chance to clip that. That was fucking that one. rude. Like, how's this gonna go? Easy way or the hard way? Well, I guess if that's how you want it. Don't threaten me with a good time. You just go side swap me. Oh, dude, I sent him to Jesus. I will send you to Jesus. Oh, dude, JCS got the clip. Okay, we gotta watch this. We gotta watch this shit. Oh boy. Uh, well, <laughs> is it the easy way or the hard way? What's it gonna be? Oh, the hard way then, bitch. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh block levels. I knew I messed up. <laughs> easy way or the hard way? What's it gonna be? Oh, the hard way then, <laughs> bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'll feature that clip. That's a great clip. That's gonna go on YouTube later. Like that's that's fucking yep. creamy. Dude, dude just leaves the chat. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Oh, Phoenix, I came in on the hard way, and uh, <laughs> you knocked him off the road. <laughs> That's perfect. That's... <laughs> you could not have said that at a better, like, there's no other parts of the track where I can do that to you. Like, that was literally like... <laughs> yep. I should just kill that shit for now. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn? I'm gonna shut up. I'm not gonna say these things. That's <laughs> <laughs> it from now on. <laughs> the, the hard way, then, bitch. Whoop. <laughs> oh man, that fills me with glee. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh man. This is some dude, 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 big country out here 
Gifted a tier one sub to stream elements. <laughs> oh, you guys gotta let me know. I didn't know it was this track. I'm gonna get dusted. Same. Don't I chose the next two. You are good for the R34. All right, R34. Me and Looney are gonna battle it out here. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of good because I haven't seen what the top speed is on this car yet. So. You <laughs> dirtbag! Oh, he did he beef, fuck you? Beef, beef, beef. <laughs> Dude, Dragontron is out here just like, hey man, <laughs> I too can be Papega. <laughs> yes, let's go crazy. <laughs> oh man, uh, bad. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yep, but now, uh, uh, uh. Try hard mode to gauge. Supples, you're a real one, dog. You could have murdered me on your way by there. Should have. I thought Sh about it. Shame on you, dude. Free three bar. <laughs> Yo, this thing's kind of fast. <laughs> I'm redline teching. Am I gonna get 190 out of it? 190. 189 is about what you can hold, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, with a little boost, 190 is like in the cards. Dude, Hex, yeah, you're on your way to that champ badge. On your way. Looney, do you have a stock plate? I do. I forgot to change it out. Just crash now, bro. <laughs> Don't follow my steps, man. <laughs> That's like one out of how many cars I own that has a stock plate. Sure, sure, sure. Hex, did you see the clip? You need if you didn't see the clip that we just put in the chat like a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, for real, boo this man <laughs> in the stock plate. So I've been playing it now. Right. I'll paste it again. Go, buddy, go. I'm trying, dude. Okay. Oh, that was actually Luna. That was actually a really good drift. Is, is that what we're calling that? I mean, we were practically right next to each other, yeah. No, we were not practically anything. You were <laughs> inside of me. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh my god, Erexon! Truce supposed. To break truce. <laughs> I like how he's like, hey, hey, we're kind of out here in front. Truce. For the homies. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Yo, hey. what's up? Oh, you hobo! <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We got uh, him again! Times two. <laughs> right, times two right there. I'm running twice this time. Oh, okay, dude. Then. Oh, I didn't get my 
three bar. Oh, bro, I'm crying. <laughs> So it's just how it's gonna be, man. Alright. Just just know how it's gonna be, man. <laughs> oh it, you're, you're such like a good sport, bro. Ahead. I love you, man. You're you're a good dude. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see a punchy bag <laughs> Well Tetsu's not here. I gotta gotta handle it. So I'm a temporary punchy bag for the moment. Alright. <laughs> Reggie, what's up, buddy? Oh, man. <laughs> what's the next track? <laughs> uh, I murdered his mofo. Made you look. <laughs> Come oh, dude. no, not this one. Uh, what? Oh, right, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who died? Oh, just the fact that I was able to hit you out of the checkpoint was so choice. <laughs> where is it? Uh, you know what, it's this motherfucker's out here like, where's the tank? <laughs> Does this one have guns on it? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Does it got blue shells on it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, where are you? <laughs> where are you? Dude, catch me outside. I'm in the yellow skyline, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no, I forgot. Okay. I changed cars. Black Testarossa. Oh. <laughs> Get it. Alright, fool me once. Shame on me. <laughs> Okay, fair. <laughs> I missed the checkpoint that time. Nice, well, 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 <laughs> nice, 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 nice. I got bodied, or I did. You better run, one, bro. Well, that payback still. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still up, dude. <laughs> like... Ooh, yeah. I'll Ooh. see you next race. Oh, wow. Somehow I hit my three bar and I got caught on your car, Alex. Mm. That's a good place to get caught, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, that van was out for blood. Alright, this is the way we go now. This is very... Very off roady. Damn good race, Rexon. It all depends on the car. So, some engines have a. It's it, okay. Let me try to back this up. The game has got certain stats and values that carry more weight than others when it comes to PI points. So, like nitrous, for example, is always worth points you don't usually get free nitrous like i don't think there's any car where it doesn't increase the pi value it's got a stated point value that goes with it it does change a little bit but that's a static okay 130 miles an hour is like this magical you can kind of get as much horsepower into it as possible as long as you stay under 130 mile an hour top speed it'll fit into b class for no reason at all so we kind of take that and we extrapolate on that. 140 is kind of like that next tier, and as long as you stay under 140 mile an hour, you can kind of keep it in A class. 
it tears up. Top speed and zero to 60 time and quarter mile time are factors that this game weights very heavily for PI values. So the goal is to take the engine that you can get the most horsepower and torque into that accelerates with that and then keep it in the class. A lot of cars get tiered out of the class with better engines because those engines towards the top of the list have a higher red line and when that factors in with the transmission because the gear ratios work when you have a higher red line meaning more rpms the transmission is spinning up further and faster so your gears are longer thus creating higher top speeds and usually that factors into a really good zero to sixty because then first gear will like carry you from zero to sixty so there's no shift involved and so that gets weighted more heavily and so the top tier motors tear you out of all the classes because you can't put enough horsepower in because the moment that the five speed transmission has enough horsepower to achieve 180 or 190 miles an hour it just takes it out of whatever class you're trying to build it for so the goal is to find a high horsepower motor with a low red line with a smaller transmission gear ratio so that way you can kind of work around the base mechanics of the PI value. And there's more to it than that, but that's kind of like, if I had to put it in a box, that's the box. Wait, buddy. I'll put you on the list already. I'll get you on the next race, Alex. I'm gonna murder a soul destroyer. Oh, handle it. Oh, I will. Oh. He's gonna ruin my place. I'm gonna execute him. <laughs> In a wall. Enjoy the wall, buddy. Suckless. <laughs> 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 You ruined my good, good chance to get a good result. I have to murder you. I'm sorry to get my revenge on the axe again, so. <laughs> Next race, I will. Possibility. Oh, Nikki B, have a good night at work, bro. I hear straight fire might be a good idea to try and get a revenge on Alex, but I don't know. Dude, nah. <laughs> what the fuck are you driving, Dragontron? The Bel Air. Obviously. <coughs> oh, shucks. Man, I was gonna slow down and wait for you, but as it turns out, My I can't. My car just down, yes. <laughs> uh, I have particles. This uh, Skyline's a little loose. It's not my favorite car, but it is kind of fast. It's a good little mid tier car. Oh, Birdfella in the oh, GT. Short Track Slayer. Let it Alright. Is this a speedy boy or a mid tier boy? Appreciate you.
Mann, wir fahren. Oh man, it's playing tricks on me! Got him, that was super close! Good racing, Tetsu, good racing, dude. Oh, fuck. Zero, what's up, buddy? <sighs> uh, I gave him a tap to send him on the other side of the tunnel because I didn't want to be next to him. And then I intentionally slowed down thinking he was going to come over, and he did. So then I was sitting behind him. And then it was just a waiting game. It, it worked out really good. That was fun. That was a good race. Are we all racing that shit? There's a place I go. It's a different life. Zero, we're doing good, buddy. We're doing good. When it touches me, I get vulnerable. In a different life. Oh, no. Are you just in? Hmm. So, my EA Play membership expired. And I don't think I actually bought the game. So I'm waiting to see if I'm going to get disconnected from Need for Speed. Ah, now why? I've I don't I don't think the beard's gonna make it till June. I really don't. Alright. Another bird can be kissed. Alright, mister. <laughs> Bring it on. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh shit. Bring it on as you get spun sideways. <laughs> That's like I got dunked. Like there's a lot of people I don't have any problem messing with. I wouldn't want to mess with me. I I'm too I wreck too often, dude. I'm too good at it. <laughs> I'm a professional crasher. Sometimes it crash me, sometimes it crash you. But somebody's crashing. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Cat, what are we doing? A hundred to keep it, bro. Man. It just gets so uncomfortable and scraggly. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. 
Bonnie. You sell at every stage of your business. Sell it online. Take it in person. And go oh, big. Oh, my God. A million orders big. Whatever your stage, businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. I'll think about it. Sign up today I'll think about it. Shopify.com slash YouTube audio. I have to get some, like, I have to get, like, a beard care kit. So that way it maybe wouldn't get as, uh, like, split ends or anything. Oils? Yeah. I know guys that have done that. Like they oil their beard and they brush it and they do all that stuff. I'm like, bro, I've got five in one shampoo, body wash, and soap. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not that dude. What's it gonna be? Oh. Alright. I respect that. I don't have that car built. For you, and hopefully, learn my lesson for that. <laughs> Okay, Soul Destroyer, you want to play the game too? <laughs> I thought it was me and Dragontron, but as it turns out, we got two motherfuckers in here. All right, dude. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I mean, get to. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna bad result. I'm gonna murder someone then. Wait a second. I'm gonna slow down purpose. Yes, see exactly what you're gonna do in chat, that's a good idea. Hey, come on, Soul Destroyer, take out Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. You <laughs> stupid bastard, oh. <laughs> hey, little AI friends over there. <laughs> oh man, dude, I tried to make that fucking cut. I usually make it, I don't know, I was trying to kind of like flick over and keep my boost going, and in the process I just do a barrel roll. Damn! Oh, nice! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, dude. All right, all right. I see what's up. <coughs> I got you, fam. I've really not had it very long. Um, it's because my wife pulls on it. When I get whiskers that are long enough, she'll grab me by the beard and be like, and then kiss me. Or when she's mad, she'll just be like, and I don't do that shit because I don't like it. So I get rid of it. I think that's why I've never had it very long. It's because she always pulls on it. So I don't do that. Because like, I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> you, you ever heard of one up, two down? <laughs> what? 
one up, two down. Somebody grabs your hair and say, okay, I can pull it up once or down twice. Up once hurts way more than down twice. <laughs> it goes against the grain. That's what my dad used to do to me, grab my hair back, one up, two down. I mean, it is a personal problem. <laughs> yeah, I guess if I go get a haircut, the beard can look a little crazy. I'd be alright. At least it's clean up top. I'm due for a haircut anyway, so. Can we go back to a mohawk? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I got now. It just uh, is too long. Because I'm way too lazy about going to a barber. <laughs> we are fighting, dude. Yeah. You wanna go that way as well? Alright, that's another one on the list. Alright. Peace now. What the fuck? Okay, dude. Bird fella wants peace now. <laughs> you guys are on one night. I'm with you. Okay. Just trying to do like a sub two out here, my little Vulcany boy. Out of here. GG's everyone. Hey, good night, brother. Bye. What's the, what's the best time on this trick? Oh, uh, like something stupid, like 43 or some shit. Ooh. If I get like, if I get 10. <laughs> hey, no, I get it, dude. Thanks, man. Thanks for the boost. <laughs> yeah, we were kind of crashing and bashing there a little bit. We need a different mix. This mix is just playing the same shit over and over again. Like, why is it three hours long if we only have, like, one hour of actual new tunes? Forty now? Yeah, it probably is forty. Yeah, it's crazy. Holy shit, I forgot how great this thing is. What do we got here? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
very rare I go that far into the gas station. <laughs> yeah. Kinda out of control out here. Great, nice. Yeah! Fuck you, dude! Let's go! Alright. Alright. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy it was you. Let's go! As soon as I hit a tree, <coughs> wham! <laughs> oh. 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 This is one of the lists. List, goddamn. I am the list, motherfucker. Do the next song. Get on it. Third, what happened? <laughs> Ninety centimeters of non-freedom units. <laughs> yeah, we got him again. That was a vertical takedown <laughs> in any burnout game. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> and so you run an I six, huh? Yeah. That's a that's a rough one for me. Why is that? Apex, Apex, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. <clears throat> it's probably about last phrase, that's probably head off to the bed. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting ready to go to bed myself, actually. I gotta get up early tomorrow, got some shit going on. My mother threw a shoe at me and I can't talk no more. <laughs> <laughs> So Do I drive the real car? Yeah, I drive the real car. Okay, Bird fell is in the real car. Let's see how fast Bird fell. Uh, oh boy, what the care mode it is. <laughs> yeah, Rexon. Go for it, homie. <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> the apple. No, 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 no. So, come on. <laughs> what is this bumper cars out here? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're safe. See you guys never. You fucking dark bag. Oh god. Boom! <laughs> Jesus. Lord. <laughs> what is my doing? I'm thinking. <laughs> Super beamer, so this is a great music matchup.
Oh no! We didn't get it? Oh my god, I was waiting on that. The whole run is falling apart. We're looking at like a 2.30 right now. I'm not going to have enough boost for this corner. We're still going to send it. No shot! That's pretty good. Oh. I would say shout out to Birdfella, but we were going super slow. Yeah, GG's, buddy, GG's. We were like cutting it up there. I wish we wouldn't have touched. If I had rear-ended you, we would have more boost. We could have really been going. Pretty fast, honestly. The lines are pretty good. You need to work on that left hand at the t like the end of that long straightaway where we turn left and boost. That's about the only place that I was really just catching you or walking away. <sighs> well guys, I think that's going to be it for me. Yeah, it's 11.30. I meant to get on a little earlier tonight, but it didn't work out. But um, we may have stream tomorrow night. We may not. It really depends on if my motorcycle parts come in and I go riding or if it's cold or what happens. So it is to be determined. But uh, thank you for all of you guys for hanging out on stream. GG's to Birdfell. That was really fast. And uh, see you guys next time. This mix is fire. I'm going to save this for next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.